decades in Hollywood. My next guests have taken their talents to interviewing, to the interviewing seat, highlighting some of the world's greatest people of color in the entertainment world. Take a look. I'm Tracy Moore. And I'm Joe Morton, and welcome to Inside the Black Box. An honest discussion with the icons of today about our role in the arts. My goal as an artist is to tell the stories that matter. Everybody gives you a brick. You choose which ones to build your house with. And there's no shame in asking for what you truly desire. I ain't telling you I'm nothing. <laughs> wow, please welcome the host of Inside the Black Box, Joe Morton and Tracy Moore. <laughs> this. I love seeing both of you here. You know, it's so funny, Tracy, a lot of people may not know this, okay. but you ended up as a casting director yes. quite unexpectedly. Can yes. you tell us that story? Yeah. Um, well, when I first got to New York, I had so many friends, so I started a company called The Jokes on You. Okay. And what we did was we played practical jokes on people for hire. Yeah. And <laughs> so a friend of mine, um, asked me to, uh, he was a director, cast a music video. And I was like, what's casting? He was like, well, you have a lot of actor friends. Put them together for projects. I was like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Next thing you know, I was the casting director. Wow. Uh, started off in music videos with like Boys to Men. Wow. Um, oh my God. Uh, Barrio Boys, uh -huh. SWV. The list is amazing. Man. Um, and then I was very blessed to transition because I was like, music videos, it's not really talent, it's more look. Yeah. And so I was able to transition to go over to MTV. You know what, you're being, I would say, Joe. Well, you also tell this great story of uh, she wanted to find out about what, what it meant to be a casting director. So she yeah. called up casting directors uh -huh. and she said, so what does it mean to be a casting director? They just kind of hung up on her. So she called back and she said, listen, I'm doing a story about what it means to be a casting director <laughs> and they told her everything. And they said everything. Protocol, just, rates, everything. Okay, it's just the way you present it. Exactly. Yes. But I love how humble you're being when you say, oh, I was just a casting director and I casted these things. No, you helped launch careers of people like Dave Chappelle, Carrie Washington, Mike Epps, wait, I'm not the, Jeffrey Wright, Naturi Naughton. Like, uh, you helped launch these careers. How does it feel now to look at them and go, wow, I was a part of this? Well, I feel like my purpose is to inspire people to dream because I came here uh, 40 years ago with $200, the one way ticket in a trunk from San Francisco. Ooh. And so I believe in dreams and I believe that everyone needs someone to believe in them. Yes. And when you have that someone, you go places. That is so And you come true. to places. And you go and you come to places, that's right. Now, Joe, you have such a legacy from Terminator 2 to uh, the DC Universe to Scandal, Papa Pope, Scandal. And then y'all know Mr. Byron, A Different World, like. You have so many characters that cross generations. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's uh, I've been very lucky, number one. Um, yeah. And number two, it's great to sort of have this kind of longevity to sort of see what happens from generation to generation and be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Terminator 2 was, what, 91? Yes. And here we, are in, uh, here we are now in 2023 doing Inside the Black Box. So uh, I guess I must be doing something right. You're doing yeah. something right. It, but, you know, I think everybody has a memory of you as Papa Pope on Scandal. We loved you, we loved to hate you, you and you, but the thing about Papa Pope, you had these soliloquies, and I was like, are you gonna kill your daughter, or are you not gonna kill your daughter? What is going on? Lee, well, did, we have to you, give you something to think about, you know what I mean? Well, you were a villain. Did you like, was it fun playing a villain? Playing a villain is, is great, because the wonderful thing about playing a villain is that the villain thinks he or she is doing something to make the world a better place, at least ah, for them. Okay. You cannot play a villain with a negative attitude, right? You mm -hmm. have to play the villain with, I'm doing the best thing possible in this situation. And him in particular, right, the conflict was between his daughter and the United States government. And right. sometimes they were in conflict, especially when she's out there with the president of the United States. Yes. <laughs> um, but, but that actually helps 
things to move move ahead, right? And and also to prove that he's out there to do something good. He wasn't out there to destroy something. He was actually out there to try to build something. And that's why we loved you. We yeah. couldn't figure out what side you were on, but we lo ooh, we loved you. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Well, you know, it's like any other major politician. You can't really figure out what side they're on except for their own. Exactly. <laughs> that you got it up. And now you both have you both have teamed up for Inside the Black Box. Yes. So, Tracy, can you tell us about the show? So, now, 19 years ago, I had this um, idea. I wanted people of color to have a platform to tell their stories mm. because... Even in 2023, there's still hurdles and obstacles that we have to continue as people of color to our path, our journey is different than our white counterpart. Yes. And so I wanted to bring the awareness because we talk among ourselves. We know the problems. Yes. So we want to focus on the solution in the show. And we also want to create a platform for actors. I was telling Joe, it's like we're incubating new talent right mm. now on our show and giving them a platform to display their talent. That's right. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, Joe, I know that you and Tracy, you wanted to create a safe space for the actors to come in and tell their story mm -hmm. because these are intimate stories yeah. That's right. that they have. So how important was that for you to create the safe space? Well, because because of the kinds of things that we're talking about, you have mm -hmm. to feel like you are in a safe place, that, yeah. that, that you're not going to worry about a producer or a director or somebody else that you're sort of going to tell tales behind, behind your back. But, yeah. but the most important thing is that the guests come on not to talk about their latest project, their book or whatever, but to mm -hmm. talk about the journey that they had to go through to get where they are. Yeah. Not, not necessarily as a star, but as an artist of color. Um, and, and that's, as, as, as Tracy said, that's a very different kind of journey. And you have to feel safe to tell that story um, in its absolute honesty. Yes. Okay, I love it. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. That you're creating, because we do have stories that are different from yes. our counterparts, yes. and being able to tell them and tell you what we've gone through and the solution. Yes. But I hear that uh, you love the fun that you have on the show. I oh love watching you uh, with the black box. Uh -huh. So I wanted to, I know that you brought it with you today. Yes, we did. I kind of, I wanted you to explain okay. uh, what we do with the black box. Can okay. we go over here? Because I'd like to try some stuff okay. with you. We're just going to walk over to okay. the black box. Okay. All right. So you explain. Uh-oh. Okay. TV. Yes. Uh, live TV. And live live and TV. Live. So, Joe, if you can come on this side. Now, you explain what we're going to do okay, with Black so Box. Okay, so what we do is we get, two act we, we get two actors from the studio audience. Okay. And we have a prop inside the box. Okay. Now, he doesn't know what's inside the black box. I don't know what's inside the black box. And you don't know what's inside this box. Okay. So, you guys have 30 seconds. We're going to do this twice. We'll start with you, Sherry. You pull in, you know, pull something out. And then I'll close it, and then Joe will do the same. Okay. Uh, now, the the most important thing about improv, and I know you know this, is listening. So listening. So you guys have fun. Thirty seconds. Okay, so I have to pull out. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Lord. Oh. A, a flash. Okay. And I'm going to descend. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? I, I was having a good time. Um, <laughs> I know. I, I know you 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 didn't win no Oscar, but I'll be your Oscar. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would prefer that you were my just friend for the moment. Oh. Um, here, here, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Um, I gave this to you as a kind of... Um, mm -hmm. in, in the hopes that you would stop using this. All right, all right. So, so you have to promise me that... <laughs> okay, ooh, ooh. Time's up. Okay, Time's up. so it's okay. Joe's turn. Now it's Joe's turn. Okay, oh okay. boy, oh right, boy. You yes, I'm ready. Joe? <laughs> And the clock is starting. So you remember when you were a redhead? I do. <laughs> I do. I love that game we played when I was the redhead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing was, you were kind of redhead all over. Oh! Actually, though, it wasn't red. It was the 1B. That's what I like to call it. Would you like to take us back to the old days? I would love to take us back. I do. Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How did how did we how do we do? Um well we gotta work on it a little no, bit. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, my gosh, I got to flirt with Joe Morton. No, oh, thank you, you so asked, much. And you brought a smile to Joe Morton. <laughs> Joe Morton smile! Joe and Tracy, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Watch season two of Inside the Black Box on Crackle TV. Oh.